Good evening. My name is Tony Schmidt, and I will be your community leader for this Mass. We welcome everyone to our celebration, and thank you for joining us this afternoon. Our guidelines require that your Mass cover your mouth and nose throughout the entire Mass. And as we've been doing, there will be no contact during the sign of peace, but please acknowledge each other's presence at this celebration. And why don't we please stand and welcome our pastor, Father Jerry Hurley. And our opening hymn in worship is Your Grace is Enough. Your faithfulness, O oh God, you wrestle with the sinner's restless heart. You lead us by still waters into mercy, and nothing can keep us apart. So we. Your people, remember your children, remember your promise, oh God. Your grace is enough, your grace is enough, your grace is enough for me. Your grace. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough for me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Thank you. Good evening. Welcome to our celebration. And as we begin, we pause once again and call to mind our need for his forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, 
and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, perseverance in obeying your will, that in our days the people dedicated it to your service may grow in both merit and numbers, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Numbers. From Mount Horeb, the children of Israel set out on the Red Sea Road to bypass the land of Edom. But with their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in the desert where there's no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people seraph serpents, which bit the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take away the serpents from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a seraph and mount it on a pole, and whoever looks at it after being bit will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole. And whenever anyone looked at it who had been bitten by the serpent, whoever looked at the bronze serpent lived. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> Our responsorial psalm is, O oh Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. And let my cry come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me in the day when I call. Answer me speedily. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and gathered into his glory, when he has regarded, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer, O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. Let this be written for the generation to come, and let the future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height, from heaven he beheld the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release those doomed to die. O Lord, hear our prayer and let my cry come to you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to the Pharisees, I am going away, and you will look for me, but you will, not, but you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. And so the Jews said, He's not going to kill himself, is he? Because he said, where I am going, you cannot come. He said to them, you belong to what is below. I belong to what is above. You belong to this world, but I do not belong to this world. 
but I do but I do not belong to this world. That is why I told you that you will die in your sins, for if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, What I told you from the beginning. I have much more to say to you in condemnation. But the one who sent me is true, and what I heard from him I tell the world. They did not realize that he was speaking to them of the Father, and so Jesus said to them, When you lift up the Son of Man, then know that I am, and realize that I am among you, and that I do nothing on my own. But I say only what the Father taught me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone because I always do what is pleasing to him. And because he spoke this way, many came to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Interesting uh, reflection from the book of Numbers. The people of Israel journeying from Egypt and crying out to Moses saying, uh, Man, this food stinks. It's kind of the feeling we had in seminary and we protested and we uh, organized protests about the food. So we can understand the struggle. Hey, when we were in Egypt, we had enough to eat. Yeah, we were in slavery, and it's a very important thought. While we were in slavery, we had enough to eat, and things were okay. Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? And it's constant reality in the journey of life. Why am I trying to improve myself, my wherewithal, my being? Why am I trying to journey toward this goal? Hey, I was satisfied at other particular points along the way, had enough to eat and things were taken care of. Things weren't too bad, you know. And so uh, the play comes then. And uh, many of them are bitten by the serpents, the uh, seraph serpents, their winged serpents. And uh, man, pretty bad. And uh, so they plead with Moses saying, man, we sin, we realize we need to improve things. We need to improve ourselves. We need to improve our attitudes. We need to uh, be reconciled in order to experience the goodness that he is holding out to us, that we are his people, his chosen people. And so they say, would you ever go and pray to God for us and intercede on our behalf? And sure enough, he does. And they have built the... Um, built up this plague that has hit them, you know, as just being life-threatening and crippling. And so the Lord says, yeah, I see the seraph, the serpents among you. Um, he said to Moses, go ahead and create a bronze serpent, raise it up. And uh, anybody who looks on it with faith, and looking on me with faith, will receive the healing. It was... Uh, Pre this. It was a preparation for that reality that the Christ himself would be raised up to save all people. But here was the symbol in the desert in their journey as they turned away from God and as they called out and wanted it to have it their particular way. And so they repent, and those who look upon the serpent are healed. And it is a prototype for the gospel, Jesus being raised up. Um, and drawing all people to himself, uh, trying to explain that to those who are listening. I'm going away, and I'm going to be raised up. And it is true, all of this, because I do not belong to this world. I belong in the kingdom, but I came down so that I might draw all people to myself. And he says, it's only through faith in me and faith in this reality that one will really come to life. And because he spoke this way, many came to believe in him. That is our fundamental belief still today, 2,000 years later. Through faith in him, we will come to life. 
Father, we ask you to hear our prayers as we gather in your name. We ask you to bless us in our need. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that we may die to sin and serve our Lord, becoming like grains of wheat, bearing much fruit in the world around us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government and business leaders, that God will inspire them to develop and implement policies that are just and compassionate and bring hope to all who suffer, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the victims of racial discrimination, that they might know success and justice as they struggle for equal treatment in the workplace, the community, and society, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increasing awareness in all people that we are all made in God's image, worthy of love and respect, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the name of God may be glorified through the reverent worship, the compassionate mercy, and selfless generosity of our faith community, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our faithful departed brothers and sisters who have died in the hope of rising again, especially Jane Kaiser, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray continually for all who are sick in our parish, all of those sick in our community, for uh, Gary Harkins and Michael Parsons, for Cheryl's son, for all others who are struggling, for Janice and Dwight Jasper, the grandparents of the hip grandchildren. We ask you, Lord, to bless them all who are in need of your healing and saving power at this time, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for the repose of the soul of Joan Mueller, uh, mother of Ed Mueller, and for Errol Martin, brother of Lisa Thomas. We ask you, Lord, to reward them with the gift of life in your presence. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, all of these are prayers we bring to you, and we ask that you accept and grant them, for we offer them with faith in Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread we offer you, the work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine we offer you, the fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God, who is our Almighty Father. The Lord, the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, that being moved to compassion, you may be both pardon our offenses and direct our wavering hearts through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so we join the angels and saints in proclaiming your glory as we sing. God of hosts, 
heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke the bread gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all of your people. And remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Apostles, and with all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And now we pray for the coming of the kingdom as Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always freed from sin and safe from all distress, as we await in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord is now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always. Thank you, and let us be grateful for that peace and acknowledge it to one another. Peace be with The sins of the world have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world have mercy on us, Lamb of God. Take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Let us now join together in singing our communion hymn, I Have Loved You. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you and you are I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you and you are mine. Seek the face of the Lord and long for him. He will bring you his light and his peace. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you and you are mine. I have 
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that ever seeking what is divine, we may always be worthy to approach these heavenly gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God continue to bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended, and we go now in peace to love and to serve God and each other. Thank you all for joining us. Glad to have you here, and we continue praying with and for each other. Have a wonderful evening. Just have a few announcements. Live Stations of the Cross will be presented by the Big Deal Youth Group this Friday, March 26th at 6 p.m., this will be followed by the night's fish fry. Please order your fish dinners on the St. Paul website or in the church app. The Knights of, Knights of Columbus will host an Easter egg hunt for children of the parish on Palm Sunday, March 28th, after the 10.30 a.m. Mass. Children will be divided into appropriate age groups to, maintain, to help maintain social distancing. All children over the age of two and all adults will be required to wear masks. We have scheduled a penance service for Monday, March 29th at 6 p.m. We will have several priests available and will require masks to be worn in observance of social distancing. Registration has opened for the Tritium, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, the Easter Vigil, and Easter Sunday. Please register by one of the following methods, online, the New Church app, or by the link in the e-bulletin. All seating will be assigned seating. Please check the St. Paul website for our Holy Week schedule. Please wait to be dismissed from your pew as you exit the building. We ask that you maintain social distancing. Thank you. Let us all praise him together with our closing song. Want to pray? Oh, it's the big yellow line right there, isn't it? All right. <laughs> Let us now say our commitment prayer. Here is my promise, Lord. I commit to look for the face of God in every face I see. I commit to respect and act with empathy and compassion toward all, especially those who are struggling and those 
and those whose beliefs, values, and lifestyles are different from mine. I will do my part to stop the spread of the virus, prejudice, racism, poverty, and negativity. I can only do this through you, with you, and in you, Almighty God. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, amen. Now, let us praise him all together with our closing song, At the Name of Jesus. Oh 